The AIBI Fashion Lab is equipped with a Gerber Accumark computer pattern making system. This is available to use by our members with a day pass or monthly access. You can get passes through the online booking system at AIBI.com. Please make sure to only use this system if you have experience with it. The machinery is delicate and can easily be damaged. If something breaks, or won't work right, stop using the machine and clearly place the emergency tent on top. Let the monitor on duty or other AIBI staff know that something has gone wrong. The Gerber Accumark version 10 system is used to create digital patterns and markers. Our system consists of a digitizer, plotter, and three computer programs, pattern design, easy marking, and Accumark Explorer. If you have existing paper patterns that you want to convert to digital format, you can use a digitizer. The digitizing surface is never to be used for anything other than digitizing. It is essentially a large computerized board and needs to be treated delicately. Do not place food or drinks on or near the surface or use it as a desk. The cursor is the main source of communication between the digitizer and the computer. You simply place the crosshairs over the desired area to make your selections. The menu lists out the alphabet and special functions to select with the cursor. First, make sure the computer connected to the digitizer is on and you have opened Accumark Explorer. To turn on the digitizer, flip the switch on the right hand side to the on position. Once you hear the beep indicating that the digitizer is on, check your computer to make sure they are connected. The digitizing icon should appear in the taskbar. To start, use masking tape to place your pieces on the digitizing board. You can add as many pieces as possible within the boundary of the blue lines. When all your pieces are taped onto the board, place the cursor on the board. You will see that a green light appears to indicate that everything is working properly. You must remember to keep the cursor on the board when making your selections. Go to the lower left corner of the board and select Start Piece by placing the crosshairs of the cursor above your selection and clicking the A button. Using the menu, spell out the name of your piece, and when you are done, click the asterisk button on the cursor. Now, spell out the category of your piece. This can be anything from front to pant or just a letter or number but it should be a different word than the name of the piece. When you are done, click the asterisk on the cursor two times. Select Rule Table on the menu, and then spell out the name of the rule table for this piece using the menu. When you are done, click the asterisk on the cursor. Plotting Points Mark the grain line by using the A button on the cursor and selecting the beginning and end of the grain line. When you are done, click the asterisk on the cursor. Now you can start plotting the perimeter of your piece. Always do this in a clockwise direction. You can choose to follow either the cutting or the sewing line. Seam allowance can be added once it's in the system. Start your piece so that the last point you plot creates a straight line back to the beginning. You will see on this piece that we've chosen to start at the bottom hem so that when we go all the way around the last line is the mirror line. Straight lines only need two points. The more pronounced your curve is, the more points you will need. When you reach the second to last point, you have two options. For a mirrored piece, select Mirror Piece on the menu. If this is not a mirrored piece, then select Close Piece from the menu. If you have other pieces to digitize, start this process again. If not, then select End Input on the menu. Now, head over to the computer. A window called Digitizing Processing Options will pop up. Under Storage Area, select the storage area where you want to store your piece. Click OK. Go to your selected storage area in Accumark Explorer. Digitized data will appear at the very bottom of the listings. Find your file and double-click on it. 
When the window pops up, you will see all of your data in a list format. If you have done everything correctly, you will see Verify Success at the top. Click the Save button, and this should create your piece. If not, go to the next step. If you do not see Verify Success and your created piece, check the display. Incorrect entries will show up in red. Often the problem is because you have entered the incorrect rule table, or the correct rule table is not currently in your storage area. You can remedy this by correcting the name of the rule table or moving the correct rule table into the storage area. If it says there are not enough points, check to see that you entered an asterisk after the grain line points. If there is still a problem, consider redigitizing the piece.